Hello, viewers. Welcome back to Coding O'Clock. In today's video, we have an exciting topic to discuss how to prepare for the NPTEL exam of Introduction to Internet of Things. If you're eager to excel in this upcoming exam, you've come to the right place. So, let's dive in and discover the best strategies for success. Now, let's take a look at our agenda for today's video. We'll be covering the following important points. 1. Exam Pattern Understanding the structure and format of the NPTEL exam for Introduction to Internet of Things. 2. About assignments. Exploring the significance of assignments and how they contribute to your overall score. 3. Certificate criteria. Learning about the criteria for earning the NPTEL certification and its value in the industry. 4. Question types. Explaining the different types of questions you can expect in the exam. 5. Topics to be covered. Highlighting the key topics that you should focus on during your preparation. 6. Summary. Summarizing the essential points covered in this video. Before we delve deeper into the NPTEL exam preparation, let me take a moment to introduce our channel and the topic of today's video. Welcome to Coding O'Clock, your go-to destination for all things related to programming, technology, and career development. On this channel, we strive to provide you with valuable insights, tips, and tutorials to help you excel in the world of coding. Through this video, we aim to equip you with the necessary strategies and guidance to prepare effectively for the NPTEL exam. So, let's embark on this learning journey together and unlock the secrets to a successful NPTEL exam and introduction to Internet of Things. To start off, let's talk about the exam pattern for the NPTEL exam of Introduction to Internet of Things. Proctored Exam the proctored exam is conducted in person at an exam center, and it's monitored by a proctor to ensure the integrity of the exam. This exam consists of multiple choice questions. Fill in the blanks, and you'll have a set amount of time to complete it. It's important to note that the proctored exam carries more weight in terms of certification, so if you're looking to get a certificate, you'll need to take and pass the proctored exam. Now, let's take a closer look at the details of the proctored NPTEL exam for Introduction to Internet of Things. Here are the key points to remember. Exam time. The exam duration is set for three hours. It's important to manage your time effectively to ensure you have sufficient time to answer all the questions. Total number of questions. The exam consists of a total of 55 questions. These questions cover various aspects of the Introduction to Internet of Things course, allowing you to demonstrate your knowledge and understanding. Negative marking. Unlike some exams, the NPTEL exam for Introduction to Internet of Things does not have negative marking. This means you won't lose marks for incorrect answers. However, it's still important to answer to the best of your knowledge. All questions are compulsory. Remember that all the questions in the exam are compulsory. Ensure that you read each question carefully and provide an answer for every question. By keeping these points in mind, you'll be well prepared to tackle the proctored NPTEL exam. Now, let's move on to the next section, where we'll discuss the significance of assignments in this exam. Now, let's talk about the significance of assignments in the NPTEL exam for Introduction to Internet of Things. Assignments play a crucial role in your overall performance and final result. Here's why assignments are important. Marks added to final result. The marks obtained in assignments are added to your final result. This means that performing well in assignments can positively impact your overall score in the exam. Influence on proctored exam questions. Approximately 70% of the questions in the proctored exam are based on the assignments. This highlights the importance of thoroughly understanding and completing the assignments to familiarize yourself with the concepts that are likely to be tested. Practice and application. Assignments provide an opportunity for practice and application of the concepts learned during the course. By attempting the assignments, you reinforce your understanding and gain practical experience in solving problems related to Internet of Things. Evaluation of best eight assignments. Out of the total 12 weekly assignments, the best eight assignments are considered for evaluation. This allows you to focus on the assignments where you can excel, maximizing your chances of earning a higher score. By giving due importance to assignments and putting an effort to complete them effectively, you can boost your chances of success in the NPTEL exam. Now, let's move on to the next point, understanding the certificate criteria for this exam. Earning a certificate for the NPTEL exam and introduction to Internet of Things requires meeting certain criteria. 
let's understand the certificate evaluation process. Average assignment score. The average assignment score is calculated as 25% of the average of the best eight assignments out of the total 12 assignments given during the course. This score reflects your performance and understanding of the course material through the assignments. Exam score. The exam score contributes 75% of the final certification exam score, which is measured out of 100. This score is based on your performance in the proctored exam. Final score. The final score is the sum of the average assignment score and the exam score. However, it's important to note that you will be eligible for a certificate only if you meet specific criteria. These criteria are as follows. 1. Average assignment score. Your average assignment score must be equal to or greater than 10 out of 25. 2. Exam score. Your exam score must be equal to or greater than 30 out of 75. If you fail to meet either of these criteria, even if your final score is equal to or greater than 40 out of 100, you will not be eligible for the certificate. Understanding these criteria will help you set clear goals for achieving the certificate. Let's now explore the distribution of questions and marking scheme in the NPTEL exam for Introduction to Internet of Things. The exam is divided into three sections, each with a different number of questions and marks allotted. Here's how it's structured. Section 1. This section consists of 10 questions, each carrying two marks. These questions assess your understanding of the foundational concepts and principles of IoT. Section 2. The second section comprises 15 questions, with each question carrying two marks. These questions delve deeper into specific topics and applications related to Internet of Things. Section 3. The third and final section contains 30 questions, with each question carrying 1.5 marks. This section covers a wide range of topics, testing your comprehensive knowledge and problem-solving abilities in the field of IoT. It's important to allocate your time wisely during the exam, considering the distribution of marks in each section. Now, let's move on to the next section, where we'll discuss the essential topics you need to focus on during your preparation. Now, let's move on to our next point, where we'll discuss the types of questions you can expect in the NPTEL exam. Now, let's familiarize ourselves with the types of questions you can expect in the NPTEL exam for Introduction to Internet of Things. Being aware of these question types will help you prepare more effectively. Here are the common question formats. 1. Multiple choice questions. MCQs require you to select the correct answer from a set of given options. Pay attention to details and ensure you thoroughly understand the concepts to choose the most appropriate answer. 2. True, false questions. True, false questions assess your understanding of specific statements related to IoT concepts. Determine if the given statement is true or false based on your knowledge. 3. Fill in the blanks. These questions present a sentence or statement with a missing word or phrase. Your task is to fill in the blank with the correct answer that completes the sentence accurately. 4. Matching questions. Matching questions ask you to match items from one column to another based on their association or relationship. Ensure you understand the concepts and connections between the items to match them correctly. By familiarizing yourself with these question types, you can prepare effectively and approach the exam with confidence. Now, let's move on to the next section, where we'll discuss the essential topics you need to focus on during your preparation. Let's now focus on Section 1 of the NPTEL exam for Introduction to Internet of Things. This section comprises 10 questions, each carrying two marks. It tests your understanding of foundational concepts and principles of IoT. Here are some key topics that you should pay special attention to while preparing for Section 1. 1. Introduction to Internet of Things. Understand the basic definition, characteristics, and scope of IoT. Familiarize yourself with the concept of interconnected devices and their applications. 2. IoT architecture. Learn about the different layers of the IoT architecture, including perception, network, and application layers. Understand how these layers work together to enable seamless communication and data exchange. 3. Communication protocols. Explore the various communication protocols used in IoT, such as MQTT, COAP, and HTTP. Understand their features, advantages, and use cases. 4. Sensor networks. Gain knowledge about sensor networks and their role in collecting and transmitting data in IoT systems. Understand different types of sensors, their functionalities, and the challenges associated with sensor networks. 5. Data analytics. Study the importance of data analytics in IoT. 
learn about techniques and tools used for analyzing IoT data and extracting valuable insights. 6. Security and Privacy Understand the security challenges faced in IoT systems and the measures to protect data, devices, and networks. Learn about privacy concerns and regulations associated with IoT. By focusing on these key topics, you will be well prepared to tackle the questions in Section 1 of the NPTEL exam. Now, let's move on to Section 2, where we'll explore more advanced topics. Let's now shift our attention to Section 2 of the NPTEL exam for Introduction to Internet of Things. This section consists of 15 questions, each carrying two marks. It focuses on more advanced topics and applications of IoT. Here's what you need to know about Section 2. 1. Observation-Based Questions In this section, you can expect observation-based questions. These questions will present statements related to IoT scenarios or observations, and you will need to determine whether the statements are true or false based on your understanding. 2. Advanced Topics Section 2 delves deeper into advanced topics within the field of IoT. Some key areas to focus on include IoT applications. Familiarize yourself with various real-world applications of IoT, such as smart cities, healthcare, agriculture, industrial automation, and smart homes. Understand the specific challenges and opportunities associated with each application domain. Data management. Gain knowledge about data management techniques in IoT, including data collection, storage, processing, and analysis. Learn about data fusion, data mining, and data visualization techniques used in IoT applications. Edge computing. Explore the concept of edge computing in IoT, which involves processing data locally at the edge devices rather than sending it to the cloud. Understand the benefits, challenges, and use cases of edge computing in IoT systems. IoT security. Deepen your understanding of IoT security measures, including authentication, encryption, access control, and secure communication protocols. Learn about common vulnerabilities and best practices to ensure secure IoT deployments. 3. Critical Thinking Section the 2nd of May also include questions that require critical thinking and analysis of IoT scenarios. Be prepared to apply your knowledge and problem-solving skills to evaluate and propose solutions for IoT-related challenges. By focusing on these advanced topics and honing your critical thinking skills, you will be well prepared to tackle the questions in Section 2 of the NPTEL exam. Practice observation-based questions and engage in hands-on exercises to enhance your understanding and performance in this section. Let's now explore Section 3 of the NPTEL exam for Introduction to Internet of Things. This section comprises 30 questions, each carrying 1.5 marks. It covers a wide range of topics, testing your comprehensive knowledge and problem-solving abilities in the field of IoT. Here's what you need to know about Section 3. 1. Comprehensive Coverage Section 3 aims to assess your understanding of IoT from various perspectives. It may include questions related to advanced concepts, emerging technologies, practical applications, case studies, and real-world scenarios. 2. In-depth knowledge To excel in this section, you need to have a solid understanding of the foundational and advanced concepts covered in Sections 1 and 2. Review the key topics from those sections and expand your knowledge to encompass broader aspects of IoT, such as artificial intelligence, cloud computing, big data analytics, and machine learning in relation to IoT. 3. Problem Solving Skills Section the 3rd of May present you with complex problems or scenarios related to IoT, requiring you to apply your problem-solving skills and critical thinking abilities. Practice solving case-based questions, analyzing scenarios, and proposing appropriate solutions within the context of IoT. 4. Time Management Given the larger number of questions in this section, effective time management is crucial. Allocate your time wisely, ensuring that you have sufficient time to read and comprehend each question and to provide thoughtful and accurate answers. Remember, Section 3 is designed to evaluate your comprehensive knowledge and application of IoT concepts. By mastering the foundational and advanced topics, practicing problem-solving skills, and managing your time effectively, you will be well prepared to tackle the questions in this section. Now, let's move on to the next point, where we'll summarize the key takeaways from our discussion. Now, let's summarize the key areas you should focus on while preparing for the NPTEL exam on Introduction to Internet of Things. These areas encompass the fundamental concepts and advanced topics related to IoT. Here are the areas you should prioritize. 1. Introduction to IoT. Gain a clear understanding of the basic definition, characteristics, 
and scope of IoT. Learn about its applications and the impact it has on various industries. 2. Sensing and Actuation Explore the principles of sensing and actuation in IoT. Understand how devices gather data from the physical world and how they can perform actions based on that data. 3. Basics of Networking Familiarize yourself with the fundamental networking concepts relevant to IoT. Learn about IP addressing, routing, and network protocols. 4. Communication Protocols Study different communication protocols used in IoT, such as MQTT, COAP, and HTTP. Understand their features, advantages, and use cases. 5. Sensor networks. Deepen your knowledge of sensor networks, including the types of sensors used, their functionalities, and the challenges associated with them. 6. Machine-to-machine -machine communications. Explore the concept of machine-to-machine -machine communication and understand how devices can interact and share data with each other. 7. Interoperability in IoT. Learn about the importance of interoperability in IoT systems and how different devices and platforms can seamlessly communicate and work together. 8. Introduction to Arduino Programming Familiarize yourself with Arduino programming and how it can be used for IoT projects. 9. Introduction to Python Programming Understand the basics of Python programming language, which is commonly used in IoT applications. 10. Introduction to Raspberry Pi Gain knowledge about Raspberry Pi, a popular single board computer used in IoT projects. Learn about its features and capabilities. 11. Implementation of IoT with Raspberry Pi Explore how Raspberry Pi can be utilized to implement IoT solutions and connect devices. 12. Introduction to SDN Understand the concept of SDN and its relevance in IoT systems. 13. Cloud Computing Learn about the integration of IoT with cloud computing and how cloud platforms can facilitate data storage, processing, and analysis. 14. Sensor Cloud Explore the integration of sensors with cloud-based services and applications. By focusing on these areas, you will develop a comprehensive understanding of IoT concepts, technologies, and applications, preparing you well for the NPTEL exam. Now, let's move on to the summary, where we'll recap the key points discussed in this video. Let's now summarize the key points we've covered in this video on how to prepare for the NPTEL exam on Introduction to Internet of Things. 1. Exam Pattern The NPTEL exam consists of three sections. Section 1 comprises 10 questions, Section 2 comprises 15 questions, and Section 3 comprises 30 questions. 2. Proctored Exam The exam is proctored and has a duration of 3 hours. There is a total of 55 compulsory questions, and there is no negative marking. 3. Assignments Assignments play a crucial role in the final result. About 70% of the proctored exam questions are based on the assignments. You will have 12 weekly assignments, and the best 8 assignments will be considered for evaluation. 4. Certificate Criteria To be eligible for a certificate, your average assignment score must be greater than or equal to 10 out of 25, and your exam score must be greater than or equal to 30 out of 75. The final score is calculated as the sum of the average assignment score and the exam score. 5. Question Types The exam includes observation-based questions, true, false statements, and comprehensive questions that test your understanding and application of IoT concepts. 6. Areas to Focus Focus on topics such as introduction to IoT, sensing and actuation, basics of networking, communication protocols, sensor networks, machine-to-machine -machine communications, interoperability in IoT, programming with Arduino and Python, Raspberry Pi, SDN, cloud computing, sensor cloud integration, fog computing, smart cities, smart homes, connected vehicles, smart grid, and industrial IoT. By dedicating time and effort to understanding these topics, practicing with sample questions, and completing assignments, you will be well prepared for the NPTEL exam on Introduction to Internet of Things. That concludes our video on how to prepare for the NPTEL exam of Introduction to Internet of Things. We hope you found this information helpful. Best of luck with your exam preparation, and thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us in this video on how to prepare for the NPTEL exam on Introduction to Internet of Things. If you have any further questions or need additional guidance, feel free to reach out to us. You can contact us at Coding O'Clock through the following channels. Email, codingoclock at gmail.com. YouTube, youtube.com slash at c-o-d-i-n-g-o-c-l-o-c-k. We value your feedback and suggestions, so please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more educational content 
and exam preparation tips. Best of luck with your exam preparation, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you and have a great day.